Hey, good morning, Pre-K. I'm not sure what it's been like at your house all day, but at my house, it has been raining. So the rain stopped, a little bit of sun coming out. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna run outside real quick and make our video. So let's go ahead and get started. And let, we're gonna start with our prayer. So do you have anybody that you wanna pray for today? Do you have a special intention? Okay, well, we're gonna use your special intention and I'm gonna pray for my family. I'm gonna pray for your family and that everybody stays healthy, all right? So we have our friend, you remember my friend? His name is Steve. And Steve wanted to do the Johnny Appleseed. He, he already had this picked out. He said, I wanna do Johnny Appleseed. We haven't done this one yet and I'll tell you kind of why. It's because we have to sing to it. And Miss Angie doesn't sing very well, but for you guys, I'm going to, but I want you to promise me, please sing with me, because nobody wants to hear Miss Angie sing by herself. All right, so are you ready? We're going to do the Johnny Appleseed prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple. Seed, the Lord is good to me. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Very good. And thank you for singing with me. I felt so much better. All right. So are you guys ready for the pledge? As you can see, our friend Ralph, he's ready. He's been standing back there. He's been practicing very hard to hold that flag still. And the wind has been blowing. So he's been a little nervous. He's afraid he's going to drop the flag. So let's go ahead and we're going to head start and do our Pledge of Allegiance. So can you guys go ahead and stand up with me, please? Okay, here we go. So put your right hands over your heart and you're going to look at the flag and you're going to say, I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, you guys did great. Okay, have you been stuck in the house all day? Are you feeling a little antsy and a little wiggly? So let's go ahead and get those wiggles out. Can you guys get your hands ready? You ready? Here we go. I can hop, hop, hop like a bunny and run, run, run like a dog. I can walk, walk, walk like an elephant and jump, jump, jump like a frog. I can swim, swim. Swim like a fish, I can fly, fly, fly like a bird. I can sit right down, cross my legs, and not say a single word. Great, you guys did a great job this morning. So what we have this morning is we're gonna change things up a little bit. Um, because of the rain and everything, we can't really do what I had originally planned for today, which was to go ahead and plant the seeds that you investigated yesterday. And so today we are going to um, talk about making a flower. That I'm going to do in a different video after this one. But one of the things that you're going to get out of your packet is a cupcake liner. There should be a white cupcake liner in there and a piece of construction paper. And we are going to, I'm going to show you in the next video how to make a flower using that cupcake liner and the construction paper. The other thing that I want you to do today is something that some of you may not have done before. I want you to help mom or dad set the table. Have you ever set the table before? We don't do that very often in our house, but it's something you should do. It helps your mom or your dad out. Now in our house, we do it buffet style, meaning everybody gets their plate, they put their food on their plate, and then they go sit down. Uh, some people will do place settings, and that's where at the table where you sit and eat, they'll put a plate, spoon, fork, um, cup for the people, and then they sit down, and then the food's on the table, and they serve themselves. So either way, however you do it at your house, what I want you to do, your goal for, the, for today is to help mom or dad count out the number of place settings that you need. So you need to count out the number of forks, you need to count out the number of spoons, you need to count out the number of plates, and you need to count out the number of cups. 
and then write those in your journal. That'll practice your number writing, okay? And then um, if you're really ambitious, you can add them up and see how many you have all together. Do you have more cups than forks? Do you have more forks and spoons than cups? So you can do some comparison that way. A little bit later, you got story time with Miss Katie. And then the other thing I have is a link for a YouTube video called Singing in the Rain by The Learning Station. And that one should be a lot of fun because we, we've done it before in the classroom. And it's a perfect day to do it if it's raining. So we have that for you to do also. And the other thing I want you to do is if you have time today and, and if it's nice at your house, go outside and look at the clouds. Now, if you look at the sky behind me, you can't really see clearly the clouds. They're kind of all together in one big cloud. But sometimes once the rain is gone, the clouds form individual clouds. So go outside and see if you can see individual clouds. What do those clouds look like to you? Sometimes clouds look like plants, animals, shapes. They can be anything that you think they look at. So if you have a minute, go outside and look at the clouds. And let me see if there's anything else I have on there for you. I think that's really about it. So a little bit later, like I said, story time with Miss Katie, and then there'll be another video where you and I are going to work on making a flower using your cupcake liner and your construction paper. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day and hope that the sun comes out soon. Bye, pre-K.